<laughs> what do we have here? People that have been missing me. People that have been probably been wondering, where is Jasper at? Where did he go? He's been gone for, what, a month or so? Yeah. Yeah, that's me. I got some explaining to do, but first, uh, let me explain the title. Uh, we got a bit of a problem on our hands. And it's a problem in society and everywhere as we know it. So... Today, I want to talk about something that some people probably won't want to hear me talk about, but I'm going to talk about it anyway. And if you get your feelings hurt and you feel like, oh no, you're going to break my heart so bad that I need to pick up the pieces, uh, I'm not here to hurt your feelings. You can say that shit for therapy there, Karen, or whoever you, whoever you think you are. So, let's go ahead and get into this and don't worry I'll explain my absence after this this is this kind of has to do with it what the title is so uh, today we're gonna be comparing the differences between men and bastards women and bitches so what's the difference well the difference being it is the two different sides of each gender now, I hear this debate going around a lot, like, oh, men are worse than women, or women are worse than men. You know what? People suck. People suck. They suck ass. And let me tell you why they suck ass. The reason people suck ass is because there's not really that many good people anymore. You don't got a lot of good men and women running around anymore. You got these people that suck ass now. People that get their feelings hurt or do all this no, uh, I want to be a thug and type shit and do all this stupid ass stuff. But you know what? There's good people out there. It's just rare. But I want to compare the differences. So first off, let's compare the good. Men first. It's, that's just simply being. We got men or if people want to call it the good men. So you got, the, you got a man who is willing to work his ass off and put like, you know... Put food on the family's table to take care of them, whether it's just him and his wife, or him, and his wife and his kids, or it's a, or it's a young man who's like myself, trying to be the best version of himself, trying to be all he can be so he can have a bright future. Look for a good woman to eventually one day call his wife, but you know what? He gets fucked over so many fucking times by, by the bitches. We're not women, bitches. There's a difference between the two, and we'll get into that. Even Tupac put it, said this difference. I'm getting that from him. So, yeah, it's the bitches. He, it's the good men that are getting fucked over by the bitches. And the bitches will take advantage will use, will steal, manipulate, anything they can do. Bitches will do all of that. Not women, but bitches. So, because of this simple thing that I'm trying to explain, that has a whole bunch of shit that needs explaining, even though yet it's so simple. But that's how it is for a man. From, you know, a man that is young, trying to have a bright future, to someone who has a family to the I guess maybe the older guys the older guys have had to deal with some shit but you know they're old and grizzled and you know they know what they know what what a bitch and a woman is unless they've been married to a bitch for so long that they don't even know it I unfortunately know some people like that and it's sad someone in my family anyway so um yeah that's different that's the man here's a bastard for you a bastard. A bastard is a male, and I, I, I'm not, I don't want to call them men, I'll just say a male, you know, someone has a dick and balls in between their legs, that really, really, really does not put in the effort, or is just a total asshole in general. You know, the one that will take advantage of a woman, either be a rapist to a child molester. So, um... Yeah, the bastards will do just about anything to get their way, whether it be by force or also manipulation too, because men could be manipulative as well. So, you've got that on your hands, 
and they some of these bastards don't like good women or they choose to hurt good women or just see them as objects you know the ones that's why they're called bastards there you go now let's move on to the women and the bitches so here you go you got the good women if you want to call it that too the good women who who for my for my dudes out there for my men out there that are good like good, my good dudes out there that rock with me and know what i'm talking about you know how hard it is to find good women especially if you've been in and out of a lot of relationships like me so anyway you got good you got the women so women will want to be there for their man be by their side no matter what at any cost protect their children or if they don't have a family and they're young too, wanting to be there by their future husband or whatever until they both get married one day, stick by their side, like die for them, lie for them. They would do anything and any of that. And understand them. That's the thing about men and women. They got to understand each other. They got to bond. But you know what? A lot of these bastards or bitches will break this bond. They will break this bond with some stupidity and bullshit, and it's just nothing, and it breaks into pieces. You know how this goes if you're not having your feelings hurt and you actually have a heart to understand. But anyway, as I was saying, so that's how the women are for you. The women will do anything, you know... If, you know, cook for them, clean for them, do what they can. Just what good women or just women should do instead of what bitches should do. Let's get to the let's get to the bitches, Sally. I, I, I saved the best for last. Last, I can't talk. <clears throat> ah, the wind's blowing in my mouth and my lips are getting dry. It's getting a little chilly here where I'm at right now. So sorry if I sounded like a retarded fucko. Anyway, but yeah, shall we get into this? Save the best for last. That's much better. So now let's do it. So. <laughs> Yeah, we got the bitches. Oh, the bitches. The one I hate the most out of this entire category. You know, I eat, I hate them both equally. I hate the bastards, and I hate the fucking bitches. But, bitches will do anything. They make themselves feel special. My dad said it best himself. These bitches will make anything to make themselves feel, feel special. And when these bitches make, to make themselves feel special... It is just all about how they want to get what they want, or they don't know what they want. And if they fuck it up, they try to blame it back on the man, back on the man, and make it seem like it's his fault. We're talking about the manipulators of oh he raped me when he didn't, and we're talking about oh he did this to me when when he actually didn't, and just those kind of manipulators, those kinds of liars, the thieves, they'll do anything. They will do anything. Or it's just those that make that live with you for a long time and lie to you until they feel like they had enough of you. You know how it goes, men. You know how it goes. And uh yeah. That's just how it is. That's how it is between that's how it is for the men, bastards, women, and bitches. So there's that say. And what does that have to do with me? I recently got out of a <laughs> pretty bad relationship. Uh, well, it wasn't really bad. It was really good. I was manipulated for a very, very, very long while. We're talking about six to seven months. I thought I had this good relationship with this girl. I will not say her name because who knows? She will probably see this. But you know who you are. You manipulated me. You hurt me, and you did what you did. So what she did was, everything seemed so well, so good, so fun. Like, really, we were all kicked back and everything was good, all that jazz. I didn't know I was going to be, I don't know, because some of these things happen. There's a change in certain people sometimes. Sometimes people change for the worse. That's what you got to look out for. You got to look out for the hints of change, and whether you got to help that person or get away from that person, whether it's a male or female. So, I should have noticed this change, but I didn't see it. So, me and this girl were doing really good, but then she decided to break up with me because she tried to blame me for being so, so, whatever, toxic and loco. That's what she tried to say. And I was like, 
are you shitting me? I do everything for you. I made sure you was all right. I tried to help you. I loved you. I respect you. And oh, you just, you stabbed me so far in the back and it comes out the other end. It was painful. But it's fucking like, you know how it is. It's just like, you have a good relationship for so long and all of a sudden it means nothing. That's why this, what I mean by bond, once the bond breaks and turns into absolutely nothing, it, it sucks. It fucking sucks. And I don't know. And that's why I've been away for a bit because I was just worried about either like that or other personal stuff. But you know what? I want to go on ahead and explain my absence. Uh, the reason I've not been on for a month other than that was because um, uh, ever since I graduated high school a few months back, I've been having to do quite a few things. I'm trying to set, my, set myself up, get my license and such, go full-time at my job, all that jazz, and get, and, uh, get into a good house where I can have some space and then I can actually start doing really good YouTube videos. I can get my equipment set up from microphones to headsets to everything. You know the deal guys. I'm working to make this YouTube channel into something, you know, bigger and better. But when it comes to the uh aspect of everything I told you, it's just you got to watch out for those two sides of those two genders. And I only believe in two genders, people. Don't let that set you off, Karen. You'll live. But anyway, that's just how I am and that's what I've been going through. There's just it had to do with that and I have I'm just giving some advice to any men and women, and I'm talking men and women, not bastards and bitches, because bastards and bitches are going to continue to do what they do best. So, I'm going to go on ahead and let you guys get out of here, but other than that, I am okay, I'm alive, I'm trying to get everything set up, trying to get into a house, there's a lot going on. Guys, gaming content is going to be up a blaze here soon. Gotham Knights is dropping October 21st, and I haven't done a lot of Batman content on this channel, or Batman-related themes. So once Gotham Knights comes out, guys, you can expect a walkthrough of that, and I heard there's going to be lots of goodies with that, with the uh, Gotham Knights, that game, coming out October 21st, and I can't wait. And I'll also do some spooky content, too, Halloween-based. So don't forget that if you guys are new to this channel, whether it's men women and if it's a bastard and a bitch a bastard or a bitch you can subscribe too i love the numbers game either way makes me feel good whoever you are so guys that's gonna be it today like and subscribe and do please turn on that notification bell and i will see you guys here soon i don't know when but it'll be soon definitely in october as things get spooky and action-packed peace